Once a former professional soccer goalkeeper, our next guest turned his efforts to serve in the community by encouraging people with his own personal journey. Joining us now is Pastor Jesse Bradley. Jesse, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. Thank you, Olivia. You and your team do such a great job celebrating communities, cities in the Bay Area, covering thank so you. many inspiring stories. We can tell you love what you do. Oh, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And I'm so excited to tell another story. Um, let's first start with your professional soccer career. You used to be a professional soccer soccer goalkeeper, but then it, there was a very sudden change and you had to move out of that profession. Tell me about that. That's right. When I was two years old, I told my parents I want to be a professional athlete and some people just know in life what they want to do. <laughs> and after graduating from Dartmouth, the dream came true and I played overseas in Scotland and Zimbabwe. And while I was in Africa, I took a prescribed medication to prevent malaria. It built up toxic levels in my system. And sometimes life's going one way and then it's not going that way anymore and you can't control it. And it ended my career tragically. I was mm -hmm. fighting for my life for one year and it took 10 years to fully recover. Wow. It was brutal, like it tested me to the core, mm -hmm. but that's where transformation happened. And mm -hmm. it's like California, fruit doesn't grow on the mountaintops, it grows in the valleys. And I found hope really after I lost it. Mm -hmm. And I realized hope's available to everyone. I needed some new skills, some ways to cope, but also there's a vibrant hope that's greater than our challenges. Mm -hmm. And that was the journey that I went on. Now I can say it, you know, kind of summarize it, but it was oftentimes raw and messy, mm -hmm. and I didn't know, you know, how I was going to make it through. Uh, wow. So yeah, uh, soccer was fun the whole time. Africa was amazing. And then I didn't know what would come afterwards. And a lot of athletes struggle with that, but I'm so grateful for what I get to do now. Oh my goodness. So absolutely incredible that you You've used your own trials and tribulations and you've grown through that to now help encourage others and in what ways exactly now are you helping to benefit others lives yes I love to empower and encourage people when it comes to hope and here's a practical thing that we emphasize hope habits and here's a couple of them one of them would be a celebration list find 10 things every day that you're thankful for even when you don't feel grateful I call it a gritty gratitude because that's what I did in my recovery but I stayed and I'd write down 10 things every day mm -hmm. another one would be a resentment check to make sure that you're not carrying any resentment or bitterness because it's like a poison inside of your body mm -hmm. and when you forgive people there's freedom and to step into that every day mm -hmm. and then one other one one that was really key for me and I call it the power of the second thought and we have thousands of first thoughts every day and National Science Foundation says that 80% are negative so what do you do with all wow. those thoughts yeah. right between your ears I was a goalkeeper in the field keeping the bottle of the back of the net and then it shifted my recovery and I'd keep those first thoughts away because you don't have to believe them you don't have to entertain them harbor those but instead you can reject it I call them hope thieves those negative destructive yeah. thoughts and you wouldn't let a thief into your house you would close the door you'd say not in my house and you have to do the same thing with your thoughts and then intentionally replace it with a different thought and mm -hmm. for me I would say you know do not fear for I am with you do not be dismayed for I am your God I will strengthen you help you with my righteous right hand and that would become something I'd focus on it could be a lyric of a song or a mm -hmm. poem or something for me that was helpful but intentionally choose that second thought and then the renewal of the mind just brings life to everything when your thoughts change then the culture changes your relationship changes your outlook changes and it really starts between your ears Ah, oh, that's incredible. So now that, you, that you're helping so many people with the hope habits, I love that. I love that you call it hope habits. In what other ways have you served the community? I know you mentioned you were in Africa for a very long time. So what other ways have you been able to serve the community, Jesse? I'm so grateful that I've been able to serve here in the Bay Area, in Oakland, Sebastopol, and Santa Rosa, different settings, uh, healthy churches there. And then we look to reach out globally because I think it's important for all of us. How do we bring hope locally and how do we bring hope globally? It's a both and, not an either or. And so we've been running, this is the sixth year, running a half marathon and collaborating with World Vision to bring clean water to kids in Africa. Mm. Because I've been there and I see the kids and I see the needs and it moves my heart when I think about them and I want to still be connected and make a difference. And it's one thing to read about poverty, it's another to be there. Mm -hmm. And so as we run, we're able, $50 literally gives a child clean water for the rest of their life. And so oh. 5,000 kids now have clean water and we just want to mobilize more people there's so many ways again find what has your name on it find what keeps you up at night that you're passionate about where your tears are because where that pain is that's often gonna lead forge and fuel a new purpose and passion so we love it and by 2030 
All kids in Africa could have clean water. It's one of those we just step up together and make a difference. Wonderful. Well, Jesse, thank you so much for joining us here on Live in the Bay. We appreciate it. And really quickly, before I let you go, okay. what is your website where people can go and find some of these resources? Yeah, check out revivinghope.com. We have free seven habits, seven days of reviving hope, and also a marriage course, too. It's all free content, video series, revivinghope.com. And reach out on social media. Love to connect with anyone. Thank you so much, Jesse. We appreciate your time here on Live in the Bay. Thanks so much, Olivia.